God, I'm in the toilet at Hatfield House and there's a school group here. Listen to the noise. All these little kids in the lavatory. Oh, this is the downside of a period house, isn't it? Yes, that's a heater. Um, I don't mean to start the week off with a bit of a rant. Gosh, this light. I can't show you the rest of my flat because I've just, it's a mess. But yes, we pay a lot of service charges here for heating, for um, the block heating. And we've not had heating now for two weeks because the boiler's broken and it is absolutely freezing. Somebody said to me on this vlog in the comments, you're gonna love your flat in the summer um, because of all the light but in the winter it's going to be freezing. It hasn't been, but it is this week. It's because there's so much glass, there's so much window, which I love. But, but oh, Matilda and I are absolutely frozen. Anyway, hopefully um, it'll be May next week and it'll start to warm up. Thank you for all your comments, by the way. I'm looking at the washing. I love the washing. And I called it swabs, a doctor's swabs hanging out on the line. Somebody said to me, Joe, the word is scrubs. You're looking at the doctor's scrubs. Actually, this morning I'm looking at the doctor's rather racy, sort of disco, leopard skin, leopard print shirt. I'd love to know who this doctor is. I'm not going to show you that because I've got to set off. I have got a very busy day. I'm going to Hatfield House um, in Hertfordshire to record a piece of my radio show, but I'm taking this camera as well. Then I'm going to the press night of Man of La Mancha with... Kelsey Grammer tonight, and in between that, I'm doing a three and a half hour radio show. <clears throat> How deep is my voice? How red are my lips? Well, this is pretty impressive, isn't it? I'm at Hatfield House to do, I better explain what I'm doing. The film, The Favourite, that I was not a fan of, but I'm not gonna dare say that. In fact, I only watched the first five minutes. A lot of it was filmed here and Fox are staging a junket, basically. So we can interview, we can look at the exhibition of costumes and interview the wonderful costume designer, Sandy Powell, who is BAFTA awarded, extraordinary designer. Um, and it's everyone's sort of limited, I think to five or 10 minutes each. So I'm here for my radio show. I've got here early because I then have to head back into the center of London. So I get back in time and I'm miles away. If you're not familiar, I'm in um, Hertfordshire, I think. But this is beautiful, it's early morning. I'm an hour early so that I can walk Matilda. But I'm just gonna show you very quickly. My problem is I want to do everything for this camera, but I'm here to do everything for my radio show. So I'm juggling the camera and my microphone, which is in the car with Matilda. Have a look at this, what is this stuff called? It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, if it wasn't for the white van, this would be perfect. People are arriving, so I better get my um, crap together. I rather like this. She's allowed to walk apparently anywhere. So Hatfield House, very dog friendly. Um, as I say, I've got half an hour to fill before the interviews start. I'm, I'm obviously the first person here. I am starving. I'm really hoping they're going to do some kind of buffet. 
Who knows? You, often these things, the best bit is the food. The most amazing avenue. And now look at Hatfield House. So this is a great hall, and obviously all of you will recognise this from the movie. Morning. And I am so lucky that I am here before anyone else. And uh, the team are just setting everything out for the screening. Sorry, I'm in your way, you carry on. Um, what an amazing place, just look at this. I mean, I've been to some spectacular screenings, but never in a location like this. This is just beautiful. So yes, a beautiful spring morning, driven out from uh, the centre of London, and I've just arrived in paradise, to be quite honest. This is absolutely stunning, so I'm gonna turn this off. Eric, no one's arrived yet. You worked here as a guide, didn't you, in the film? Yes. And that's your, you know this house probably better than anyone else, would you say? Well, one knows a bit. Yeah. He's been very modest, he's been incredibly modest. I've just interviewed him for my radio show and this man was here throughout the filming. He knows so much, but don't you love the first editions behind us? Yes, this answer. Uh, and if you look at the dates of them, if we just pull out a date. This is 19 and 1904. And they're just here in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love this place. I'm so lucky to be here. Thank you, Eric. Enjoy. This gallery is where a lot of you will remember a lot of walking, talking scenes and the wheelchair scenes. And I mean, it just lends itself. Look at it. This is, you can do long tracking shots along here. And look at the ceiling. Well, can I say, that was one of the nicest interviews I've ever done. Um, I didn't film interviewing Sandy Powell. You've got to listen to my radio show. She's the costume designer, and if you go to BBC Sounds, you'll find the interview. I, I literally, I'm done and dusted, I'm going home, before any of the other media have even got here. Um, and they gave me my own private tour, uh, they gave me breakfast, and they gave me the first interview with Sandy Powell, all because I got here two hours early. You see, I know it's boring always being early, but it does pay off. Just look at this. So that's me, I'm heading off now, back to work. What a lovely morning. I've just been recognized. I love being recognized. I'm not arrogant, I have no ego. But this amazing woman came up to me and said, are you Joe Good? I thought I was being told off. Hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Liz and I work at Hatfield. We have the uh, living history today, which is when the schools come and everyone is dressed up in character. And so they sort of live the actual time of wow. history. Wow. Um, and today we have Henry VIII and we have uh, Elizabeth in the afternoon because Elizabeth was actually educated here. Yes, so I hear. So, um, but I've also heard, what's this called, this plant? Oh, oh, the wisteria. The wisteria's fake. No. Well, it, no, it's not fake. <laughs> it's not actually, it's not fake, but it's not, it, what, it hasn't grown here. This was brought in for the film. Did oh, you I know see. that? Um, you didn't know? Yeah, they just told me. For the, really? For the film. Well, they I brought, didn't know. Yeah, they, I mean, there is always wisteria There's here. There's always been wisteria but here. But it's no it's, one's it's, wisteria. Is this, this so is dying off because it's, it's been, been embellished. Oh. See, I told you something, Liz. You well, didn't. Well, that is actually, you always tell me something. Every time I listen <laughs> to your program. I can't, do you listen every day? <laughs> yes, I do. I love Radio London. You and Robert Elms. Yeah, are my oh my God. Robert Elms. And Vanessa, of course. Yeah. And Vanessa. <laughs> yeah, of course. No, listen, it's so lovely to meet you. And you. And, and I love your hair. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, looks really well, you've got so a bob. Good. I think there comes a time, don't well, you, when I'm you have to have a bob. Cut, cut and blonded a bit tomorrow. Actually. Well, you've got lovely hair, but I think you know. I used to have long hair, but I think it's better. No, it really length, suits you. you. It looks lovely. Oh, really? Nice. Thank you. You've made my day. Thank you. Bye now. Well, I will Bye. Be listening. Yeah. Oh my God! I'm in the toilet at Hatfield House, and there's a school group here. Listen to the noise. All these little kids in the lavatory. Oh, this is the down 
inside of a period house, isn't it? ever what a day it's been an amazing day actually started off oh there's mickey hello mickey hello hello <laughs> uh, started off in hatfield house in the glorious sunshine it's one of these lovely london spring evenings where everyone's out even though it's the middle of the week everyone is out and i'm in chinatown and i'm late as ever um because it is the press night of man of la mancha and I'm meeting my friend Angela, the casting director, and um, I'm late, I'm late, but uh, really looking forward to it. Looking forward to it because Kelsey Grammer is in it and my friend Cassidy Jensen. Anyway, I'm gonna turn this off and run. I've got the program. Well done. Um, so we can, um, I've had a very interesting journey here. Will you look, let's go over here, Ange. Are you looking forward yeah. to this? Oh, very much. I've just been to the salon. Hello. Are you a viewer? I can't believe oh, it's no. so good. I listen to you on the bloody other Fantastic. Afternoon. Are you coming to see the show tonight? I've got a ticket tonight, Joe. 15 quid. Well, well, well done, you. 15 quid. Tell me who you've come. Have you come for Kelsey? Kelsey, or? Yeah, Fraser. same here. Do you, I don't know anything about this musical at all. It was, I'll tell you what, Joe, it was a famous musical in the 60s. It's been remade. Before oh, really? Our time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, before our time. Now, what's your name? It's Trisha. Trish, you, Patricia, who like... emails me. You're no, not the Patricia. No, oh, right. I'm not Trisha. Uh, no, okay. Listen, it's so nice to meet you. We're going to get run over. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy the show. Yes, but has Matilda. She's very well, fast asleep, I'm oh, afraid. Right, she's in tonight then. Yes, this is my friend Angela. Yeah. Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> yeah, we're in tonight. I'm longing. I'm longing to um, see Wait, Kelsey Grammer on stage. Tell me, mate, and say old Joe was at the match. Oh God, thank you. <laughs> I've walked past the paparazzi. They didn't even flinch. I don't Are think they know. Famous oh. going in. Okay. <laughs> Listen. Have go a good on, night. Go on, see you. Right, bye. Go on, go on, bye. Go oh, how wonderful is that? Yeah. Make sure you tune in I Sunday, know. 11 o'clock, Middle Age Minx YouTube. Make sure oh, you follow. Me off, no, you'll be on it. Oh, <laughs> I've just been to the Sahara sale in the Royal Arcade and I didn't buy anything. So and I've just up. been, I have just been and bought some 100% dark chocolate from Paul Young's chocolate shop in Soho. Anyway, should we go in? Yes. Hold the program up so I can photograph that and... Here we go, we'll see you at the interval. Well, Angela and I, all the, um, everyone's here who should be here, and everyone in the business is here. Good. Point a few of them out. Barry Burnett. Barry Burnett. David Greenwald and Steve. These are big people in the music world. Jan Evans and Robbie. Jan Evans and Robbie. These are, Cassidy Jensen isn't on stage tonight because she's behind us. Right. No, Christopher Biggins will arrive when everyone is seated because it's no first night without Christopher Biggins. No. Well, that was interesting. Oh, I'm going to get the bus home. I'm going to get the 453, which is my favourite ever bus. Usually, um, I always walk to the theatre and then I get the bus back because it stops just outside Harley Street, which is right next to uh, where I live, basically. And it's a nice... I like the 453. Um, so, would I recommend Man of La Mancha? No, I really wouldn't. Um, it's a shame because I was so looking forward to it, but no. And a West End ticket, it costs a lot of money, so don't go to a show unless you really read great reviews. I don't know what the reviews would be like. Here comes my bus.
Oh, no, no. It's just, what is it you've just given me? Oh, so this package came um, from, well, I'm not sure, but it was already open, so they screened it. Right. And, uh, and yeah, do you want to see? Yes. You this has been sent for me. You'll, I'll open it. Okay, you open it. And you film me. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, I've got hay fever, George. My eyes look like I've been crying. No, you look fine. Eyes. You're well, um... Um, I've got hay fever in my eyes. I, I was going to say, you're well sort of like protected. You're not too leggy or anything <laughs> for hay fever, you know, when you're dressed all summery. And I'm, it not too, <laughs> I'm not too leggy. What a strange, do only leggy people get hay fever? <laughs> Are you saying I'm just short? <laughs> I'm well protected. Um, yeah. Oh my God, Worthers. This is because my mum... Oh, Mutti's gonna look at this. This is hysterical. Who, Who is it from? Is there a note? I've got to. Um, this is because my mother loves Worthers. Uh, for your lovely mum from Alison, from Money Matters, <laughs> and it's Astus Worthers a will there's a way. You should wrap it and give it to her. <laughs> oh no, she'll love it, and then I'll film her opening it. Definitely. Thank you so much, Alison. Oh, do I look like a pig? Because my eyes are so small. No, sore. no, you look good. Thank you, George. So that is it from me this week. I'm just about to feed Matilda. And um, I've been told off because I feed her out on the roof here, which is what I'm going to do in a minute. And um, the people below have been complaining because her bowl scrapes along... Look, Matilda is just facing the door. Just look at this. She just wants her dinner. And her dinner is up on that table. Have a look. She's shaking. She's literally shaking. This is what she does. She's shaking with excitement of eating. Yes, I was told off for feeding her outside because the dish actually scrapes over what is the ceiling of the people below. But anyway, um, that's it. Can I just say that um, if you want to see the Sarah Douglas interview, Middle-Aged Minx Matilda meets Sarah Douglas, that's on this channel as well, so you can go to that. All the details of everything, the podcast, and oh, Matilda's going absolutely crazy. Uh, Matilda, <laughs> if I put the bowl out, you have to eat quietly because we've been told off. See you next week. Here's this week's walker. Have a great time. Bye. I'm walking. Here's the thing I'm talking. About you and me.